Hey traders, it's Jeffrey from Ninjacators. Let's review the overnight market structure of the indices right up until and through the market open. But before we start, here's a quick review of market structure and why it's so helpful. Now, market structure is based on price action. It responds to support and resistance, supply and demand. It feeds indicators to generate signals for us. And you know that at any moment, there's a constant tug of war between buyers and sellers, and whoever's in control drives price up or down. Now, we look for the highs and lows at those points in time, and we mark them on the charts. That gives us market structure. When buyers are in control, you'll see a constant stepping up of higher highs and higher lows. When sellers are in control, you'll see lower highs and lower lows. As long as these are maintained, price is in an upward or a downward trend. And when that pattern breaks, price, and therefore the trend, is going to reverse. Now, sometimes this can be very dramatic and fast, or slower and easier to follow. But in every case, if you mark the highs and lows, you'll soon be able, at a glance, to see the market structure and be able to predict where price will reverse getting you into trades at the best location, and giving you great profit targets and tight stop losses. Okay, now let's take a look at the charts. So as you can see, I've got the four indexes on my uh, screen over here. The NASDAQ, the ES or the S&P. I've got the YM or the Dow, and the Russell, the RTY. Let's go ahead and start with the NASDAQ. Let's move that over. There we go. Now, as you can see in the overnight session, here's midnight right up until 930 when the market opens. Let's start right over here where we are at a strong, hard edge of our resistance. OK, and I'm going to grab this path tool right from NinjaTrader and mark my high to my low. High, next low, next high, next low. Go all the way down. This is really easy. There was a nice market sell-off, so it's easy to mark. But in the overnight, we saw high, low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, all the way down, giving us a nice, easy-to-visualize trend to the downside. Now, what do we do? If we were able to get in and we had our um, any signals or indicators or whatever reason we used to get into a trade, let's say we got in over here, as long as the trade is continuing further down, we're going to stay in this trade until the pattern is broken. In fact, let's say I did get in, if it was if I was up early, get in this trade right over here. I put my stop loss right behind this uh, um, um, lower high. And as it continued down and created the next lower high, I'd move my stop loss down to here, then down to here, then down to here. I would continue to work it down until I saw the pattern break. What do I mean by the pattern break? Let's go ahead and move forward. Okay, this is real time. Okay, so we'll go ahead and grab our tool again and pick it up where we left off. High, low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. And now for the first time, we've broken that last lower high, giving us an indication that the market is very likely going to continue to move upwards. OK, so I would have worked my stop loss all the way down until we broke through there. I'd have been stopped out, taking a trade all the way down and potentially get ready to get into a long trade for the afternoon. Okay, now let's take a look at the S&P, okay? Same thing, we're in the overnight. Let's take a look and see. This is a clearly a nice downtrend in the overnight, and we continue to just watch and see how price shows us exactly where the trend is. Here's that huge sell-off, little bit of a retracement, and right
right down to here. And then we're looking like the potential for a break to the upside if we break this line over here, okay? So not sure if we're going to go long yet. If it doesn't break this line, we're continuing in a downward trending day. And here's the Dow, same thing. It's really lots of confluence in the market this morning. And that usually follows news reports. We've had some really significant news over the last few days. And we are just running right down. Okay, so here's my point right here. It looks like the market was trying to test and break through, but it didn't. So we'll head down and we are still in a downtrend. If we break through this lower high, then there's a good chance we're going to work our way right up to this resistance area in the afternoon session. And finally, we've got the Russell and we are just on a tear to the downside as well. So long as you stayed in any trade you took, that's the most important takeaway. Marking market structure with price action like this, the lower highs and the lower lows, help give you the confidence level to stay in this trade. Until you break market structure, then you're going to continue to stay in the trade and ride it all the way down. And on a trending day like this, you can't go wrong. So that's it, traders. Use the drawing tool. Okay, you can find it in the drawing area. Just click on the pencil. It's called the path tool. Okay, start at any point. Click, drag, left click again, drag again, left, and you can continue to draw those zigzag lines that you saw me drawing. Okay, uh, plot the market structure. You'll be ready for your indicator signals and daily, and, and, and daily news events to help you get into your trades and manage them effectively. And that's it, traders, as I said. Good trading, and if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Check the description for links to our newest indicator programs, including the Fast Track program where you get access to all of our strategies, all of our indicators, as well as weekly live sessions. I will see you there.